Hey guys, welcome back to Photography for the Rest of Us, a place for people who love photography. And today we're photographing kittens. <laughs> All right, guys, so it is that time of year again where we start thinking about giving back and what we do to help our community. And I wanted to share one of the things that my family does, and we are a foster family for a local humane society. So we actually take in um, kittens or sometimes dogs and that and help either um, bring them back to health or raise them so they're old enough to be adopted or um, socialize them and that. So right now we have three fluffy kittens and their mom staying with us and they have been with us for about two months so they are ready to go and find new homes. So part of that process means that they need profile pictures for their match.com profile at the Humane Society. Um, so that they can um, find homes with people that have been looking on the internet and that. And this is actually really important because just like when you're buying a house and you look at real estate photos and you see like the crappy cell phone pictures that of messy houses and stuff and you know those houses don't necessarily look as appealing as those professionally done photos. The same goes for anything, right? When you are looking for somebody online um, to date, you want somebody with, that looks good in their pictures. And the same goes for the cats and dogs at the Humane Society. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I do a little kitten photo shoot. Um, this is a very, very simple setup. Currently we're in my studio because it's just easier for me to record down here. Um, but this is exactly the same setup that I use if I go into the shelter or I have used in, in my front yard or on my dining room table before. Um, so let's go over it. So first off, lighting. I have my ambient light on, my light is on in my basement where my studio is um, and that. And then I'm actually going to use an LED softbox. Now you could use a strobe, but I don't like using strobes with animals or small babies because the flashing lights, like I just feel like that's not fair to them. Um, so I do use continuous lighting with animals and, and babies and that. So I have an LED softbox here. So this is very similar to those very basic starter kit softboxes that you find like on Amazon. Um, but those ones tend to have a light bulb in them. And this one has an LED light inside. I should probably turn it off before I blind everybody. Uh, this one has an LED light inside of it. Um, and the nice thing about LEDs is that you can change the power, like the output, the amount of light coming out of them for most of them, as well as the color temperature. So you can get a little bit warmer or a little bit cooler light um, coming out of them. And you just can't do that with a light bulb. So if you are looking at some continuous lighting setups for your studio or your setup, um, spend the extra couple of dollars. And at this point, it, it really is only a couple of extra dollars for the LED version rather than the ones with the twist in light bulbs. Um, I got these ones like as a pack of three for I wanna say 150 bucks. Um, and the color temperature changes, the power output changes, and they work great for video with you guys, and then they work great for situations like this. So that is what I would recommend. But honestly, if you have a bright lamp or if you have a speed box or a speed light and you really wanna use that, you could probably do that as well. Like I said, I just don't like using um, strobes and that with animals and small babies. So I tend to not. All right, so if you look here, we are going to turn it on and you see how I can change the color temperature? This is more of a natural daylight color, even though it looks very blue in this case because you just saw the yellow. And then this is a warmer color, um, more like a golden hour kind of color. So I'm going with the natural color. Um, and then I can turn down or up the power. Um, I am going to go with kind of a higher power so that I can have a little bit faster shutter speed in here. And then, um, as far as my backdrop, I know it looks fancy, right? Not fancy. It is two pieces of foam core that I taped together. Um, it's just poster board, you guys. So these are like three bucks at the store. Um, and I just tape those together and they make a V and that way I, whoop, that way I can fold them, um, take them wherever. If they get messed up, it's not a big deal. I can just get a new one. Um, but you don't have to worry about like wrinkles and fabrics and shadows and that kind of stuff. It just looks a lot more professional. And I will say that when you scroll through like the pet finder sites and that, 
you can really tell the difference when they're using a nicer camera. And I'm not saying that that means that that's a better pet by all means. Go into the shelter, meet those pets. But I wanna give these kittens and their mom the opportunity, the best opportunity to be adopted as possible. And that means putting their best foot forward, right? Um, and then last but not least, talking about lens choices and camera choices, um, I'm using my 85 millimeter today. Honestly, genuinely, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Use whatever lens you're comfortable with. Um, I'm using my fixed 85, honestly, honestly, because that just happened to be the one on my camera when I decided to do the video. Um, it doesn't matter that much. You could use a 50, you could use a kit lens, um, but you probably don't wanna go super wide angle because you wanna be able to, you know, get those close little details. This is just a portrait of a kitten, you know, at the end of the day, it's a portrait. Um, and then as far as aperture setting, I'll tell you where my settings are. I haven't even tried them yet. <laughs> I haven't even put the kitten on there yet. I have to go corral them to put them on the table. Um, but as far as my settings are concerned, my aperture, um, I'm going to stay a little bit wider. And the reason for that is that I don't want their full bo body to be blurry. I want everybody to see how lovely and fluffy they are um, for a little bit more. And because it's a white background, it doesn't matter if it's not uh, shallow depth of field. Like I don't have to blur the background, it's white, so it, it doesn't matter. So two things to keep in mind when you're going to shoot is you want a faster shutter speed because it's a kitten and it moves quickly, <laughs> as you will see, I'm sure. Um, and two, I want a little bit bigger depth of field, so I'm probably gonna go around a 5.6. Um, honestly, if you don't have as much light and you wanna go a little more shadow, shallow, they're yelling at me, a little more shallow, that's totally fine. They're climbing my leg right now, hold on. <laughs> There's kittens running around the studio and they just climbed up my leg. Um, if you need to go a little more shallow because of the amount of light you have, that's fine too. I just like to be able to show a little bit more of their body and their texture and stuff because profile pictures are important. So I am going to go get my assistant, which is my last piece of the puzzle and is absolutely necessary in this situation. Please don't try and corral kittens by yourself. <laughs> you will absolutely get frustrated with the whole thing. So an assistant, a toy, a kitten, a piece of cardboard, <laughs> and a constant light of some sort. You could absolutely do this with a window light if you didn't have a constant. I would recommend if you were using a window light to put a curtain in front of it so that it's a little more diffuse. Um, but I'm gonna get all that set up and then we'll take some adorable kitten pictures. Okay, so first off, let's get everything set up as far as settings wise. So I just did a test shot. I just put the toy on my white background and took a shot. And I, right now, am at um, shutter speed 400, f4.5, which I know is a little bit um, lower than what I said, but I did my test and that's where it looks good for me. And then my ISO is at 1250. Now, before you start complaining about ISO being at 100 and oh my gosh, I'm gonna have noise. In this situation, you're not gonna get that much noise. I don't know where that giant, well, I know where the giant myth came from. It came from film and we're not shooting in film anymore, guys. So 1250, completely normal ISO for most of these cameras, especially with Lightroom and especially when there's no shadows that you're gonna be bringing up because this is a high key image on the white background. So we're ready to go. Um, obviously your settings will be a little bit different, but my number one tip there is get your settings before you try and add the cat because who knows? Like I said, they were climbing up my leg a second ago. <laughs> All right, so let's pull a cat in here and my assistant and see what we can do. All right, kitten, please. Hi, hi baby. Hi, baby. Oh, little cries for everybody. Say hi to the people. Come say hi to the people. Oh, so adorable. It's been so great having them around. All right, so my assistant, please. Um, so the trick here is let the cats, if you have an opportunity, let the cats have a moment to get comfortable in their environment and then make sure that you have a toy right away to distract them because they have very short attention spans. So I'm gonna start shooting right away. Right. Here go, babes. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, up here a little bit more center. I know you're looking at your sister back there, huh? Kitty, 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 kitty. You're gonna get it. <laughs> okay, that wasn't exactly a profile picture. There we go. 
Oh, can you bring her? Okay, there we go. Eyes down a little lower. One more time. Shorter oh. chances, fan baby. Here we go. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. Kitty, 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 kitty. And make sure to snap some pictures of them licking or yawning or making cute faces because those are the kind of things that people really notice on profiles. Oh, you're gonna get it. Or playing. <laughs> And notice that I've gotten lower because I want to get even with the cat. I want it to be... <laughs> All right, okay. Ready? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One more time. All right, we'll let her go. So as you can see by all of those pictures that just went up on the screen, freaking adorable, right? Like how cute are those kittens? <laughs> so I am going to photograph um, her siblings and her mom and get that up on the website so that they can start getting phone calls and they can go home to lovely homes, especially since it's almost Christmas. What an adorable present to find underneath the tree. If you guys enjoyed this video, I know it was short and sweet, please hit the like button and the subscribe and the notification bell because I love doing these videos and I'm having a really good time with it. And comment below what you want for Christmas because why not? I like reading your comments. I will see you in the next video. Bye.